Janice, and my sister Janice. And uh, before I tell you guys what our topics are tonight, I am going to give it a few moments and wait to see if you all come through and join us. <laughs> Today, our topics are Kendrick Johnson, the young man who was found dead in 2013 in his um, school gym, brought up in a wrestling mat. His 2013 case is now being reopened. Um, there's a lot of concerns because there are talks about rights being taken away. Um, a female athlete by the name of Alana Smith in Connecticut, she is a um, track star. She feels like she should not have to compete with transgender women and then Paris Morgan disrespecting Meghan Markle. All right, so let's get started. So um, as I was saying in Beth Yard reading, um, Kendrick Johnson, a young man in South Georgia who was found rolled up, um, did in the wrestling mat back in 2013. School gym, his case is now finally being reopened. It took a lot. I mean, there are celebrities um, that was sharing the petition. I think they had like 35,000 signatures or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it was a lot. It was a lot. And um, I always, when I heard, first heard that story, I was like, that just doesn't make sense to me. Like, how do you accidentally get rolled up in a wrestling mat? That just doesn't, does not make sense. I feel like he was killed and then rolled up in a wrestling mat. Yeah. To hide his body. Um, Mom, what are your thoughts or opinions about that? Uh, I really, I'm sad that it took so long, but I'm glad at least this being real because they know he couldn't have killed himself. Yeah. Not like that. Um, it doesn't make sense. I think it, it says a lot. I can't believe it took this long for them to finally, you know, It's 2021, and, and that's crazy. Whoever did it has been able to live their lives freely all these years. It's just ridiculous. And they know, they, from what I know about the case, it's something about a young man that attended the school that was jealous of him, who also played basketball, whose father worked for the FBI, that actually did it, and that's how it was able to get covered up. But we'll see what happens now that they reopen the case. But. It, it, everything about the case has been fishy from the beginning. Everything. Um, yeah, I, I swear, like I said earlier, I, I never, it just never made sense to me. And then the sheriff refused back in, I think, 2019, refused to reopen the case. Yeah. And, and I, I heard he was friends with the dad of the boy. Which, everything is fishy about it, everything. I always say this, and I don't care if people don't like it. I bet you he was white. Was he? Yeah. He was. <laughs> yeah, he was. Now on to our voting rights. Go ahead, Mama. You 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 go ahead. I'm gonna go over that. Yeah, because I'm very upset about it because. For the simple fact that we got out there, we voted, we used our voice, you know, and stuff. Now the Republicans are passing, I think, some of the laws in maybe states. in some states. But still, how do you pass laws to try to take limit. us back? Yeah, limit us from voting. You know, I don't know what they can do to me because all you really got to do is have an ID and live in the state that you <laughs> vote in. So y'all make sure to keep them IDs up and make sure to register to vote because we're not going to let them stop us from hearing our voice because we have a right to vote, you know, too. But it's sad because it's all the Republicans. And another thing I want to say that we didn't have one there, how the bill that passed, not one Republican. You mean the COVID relief bill? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not one Republican voted for it, but they bragging about it and how it's going to help them and help this and help that. Why they didn't vote for it. 
I mean, I just think that their constituents should pay attention to things like that. When now, when the voting thing that says like that, there's a lot of talk, especially in the black community, of oh, your vote didn't count they wouldn't do stuff like this. Mm -hmm. Like literally because so many black people and brown people voted, yeah. now they want to restrict it because like how did these people win mm -hmm. in these races? This can never happen again. We need to find a way to stop this from happening again. That says a lot and the it people does. should pay attention to that. Yeah. yeah, I think a lot of people that stem from, you know, pretty much back in the day, kind of like the whole Trump thing too. You get your voters out there, and then they vote for you, but then you don't win. So I just think a lot of people thought it was suspicious. And well, it's always going to be a winner or a loser. Lose. You're either the person you vote for, or they're going to lose. But you know what? I don't think a lot of people thought it was red because the way Trump showed his tail, they may not want to admit it. A lot of Republicans didn't vote for him either. Yeah, I was saying it in general. Yeah, yeah. Over but there's I mean, always going to be a winner. We should not let them stop. That doesn't mean if your candidate doesn't win, that doesn't mean some kind of evil forces happen. Yeah, that's true. But we should not let them stop us from voting. Our ancestors went through a lot to for get us, us to, to be vote. Able to vote. I, I say mean, that all the time. Let's continue to vote. Let me ask you, ladies, time. that is it just a certain group of people that they're trying to stop? The yeah, the well, yeah, are they they make it obvious. Are like they low they, income black and brown. Yes, they didn't it's, say it, but it's that's low what income it is. communities. Why would you limit the amount of voting sites? Why would you make it so? Why would you close Early. sites earlier? Like those are the things that they were trying but, to pass. Like why would you do that? You want people to get out there. You should make it easier for people to vote, not harder. And you know what though, too, um, it's not only black and brown it, that ha that's in the low income bracket there's a lot of no it, white people yeah. too everybody really but let them tell it it's not so i i say black and brown but it seems like they target areas that have high populations of black and brown just like with the covid shot just like with the covid shot it, it, they, it has to do with I, the population I mean, the, the people it? that didn't believe in it show us running getting them shots mm -hmm. you know Donald Trump got it and didn't tell nobody. Mm -hmm. Got it in December. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
put the vaccine before God because but God that's the doctors why and scientists on here. I know, but I'm just saying in case he knows that they're giving to us slowly, we may, you know, but we can pray to survive to get it. Also, God put scientists and doctors out here. Some people don't believe in God and believe in science more than they believe in God. That's true. So, I mean, that's just, yeah. But I can't. But I think that going to God stuff is detrimental to a lot of black people because, like, when people have mental issues, just pray about it instead of going to a therapist. But no, I'm not saying that. But I, what you just said, kind of upset me. That I don't like the way you just said that. But no, that's, that's your that opinion. Is the problem. That's your that opinion. Is the problem. That's your opinion. But don't never think God can't do what you ask Him to. If it uh, help you. He's, he's not going to like saying, but he's not oh, I'm not going to get the vaccine because God you. is going to take care no, of it. No, I... A lot of people think like that. Not wasn't trying to ruin your point, but a lot of people think It's like already that. ruined. So, next subject. I want to touch, <laughs> touch on that a little bit because um, I can also say I've been tested only once for... Um, COVID-19, I didn't have it, but I was around it like a lot to where I c could have gotten it. And I don't think I did get it, although I was only tested one time. I feel like my daughter definitely would have gotten it if I would have had it and she never was sick or anything like that. Um, but I don't think... You both could have been asymptomatic though. I don't think that... Um, did any of you guys get it? Are we all asymptomatic? No, I ain't getting that. Because so, if we would have had it, y'all would have had it. Damn, cats would have had it. You know, like, I mean, it just would have been. Who? Sissy could have it. She was outside for a while. <laughs> I mean, it would have been. Uh, no, so, but I don't think there's anything wrong with um, going to God, praying for a solution. Um, There's nothing then, wrong with it. I'm just saying, if don't we use think about, that as a scapegoat to not do something else. And we think about um, John Travolta. Now, his was it his son that was sick, and his they said that they died. were praying, or was it something else that they were saying was going to happen? I don't remember it with John Travolta, but I like his thinking son, about like on well, like Randy. He said that he wasn't going to use. Any, medicine or something like that because no he he, his son crazy. was uh getting treatments for his because he had cancer no I, no you had to research that but um, I, I was true. gonna go off of like at granny's funeral when uh our cousin Corey said hey he saw her walking on the street and he Who's tried Corey? actually his husband no. Corey uh, when she he saw granny walking on the street he's like let me take you and she's like no god got me god got me he's like i know god sent me to help you get home that's what I'm saying. I'm not trying to say it's nothing wrong with believing in God. I'm saying sometimes it's like that. But I said a boat. But you, you saying it way different from what I said. He said at the beginning that I would get the shot. Not talking about you. But I'm, I'm talking about saying, the black community because that saying. is a detrimental thing in the black community. I wasn't saying what you said was wrong. I'm saying a lot of black people do that. That's what I was saying. And I, and I think when it comes to mental illness, I, don't, I honestly think nowadays a lot of black people do go see therapists. They're starting to be more and more now. Yeah, but they still come out having fucking issues, so. I mean, all the therapists yeah, all do is, the work. All the therapists <laughs> do is listen to what you say and go report you if you say the wrong thing. So, because I saw a therapist, she gave me some pills that calmed me down. You know what I did? I quit taking them pills. <laughs> I like, didn't want to be I calm. I like to be on pump. You didn't want to be I calm. I like to be you on were pump. Calm. I like to be on pump. All right, uh, moving along. So in Connecticut, Alana Smith, she is a um, teenager and she runs track. Compete with females who are not who are non-biologically Transgender. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree with her because just because you get changed into a woman, you still got the men lead. I bet you they win and everything too. Yeah, because they, they won the 15 championship. Yeah, they won the 
relationships and the other girls is like they're the other women are deprived. The other girls are deprived it's of it's not having fair. a chance to win because Yeah. Because they win at all. But you know what? Even though they train I don't have a problem with that, but yeah, when you either. I don't think they should be bragging about beating a bunch of girls when they really mean. Um, I don't think, I mean, first off, I, I think the trans community has every right to exist. I'm not it against exists, that at all. don't think you don't No, no, I, I know, but I, I, I do but get what, what the girl means team. because then I think about, and you know, people say, oh, uh, well, there are uh, women that are in male sports that dominate. Like, there is a they girl, but, that, like, but they, but they women win and uh, beat men. They're not men being women. <laughs> but but the point I'm trying to make is people will uh, use hey, that, uh, hey dude, dude, our brother people Anthony will Hyde. use that as an excuse for why this is okay. But I also think about like with that, with the fifteen they got fifteen championships while the uh what they call cisgender women, which are girls that were born biologically females, they're not getting a fair shot. Or like mm -hmm. there's an MM a trans MMA fighter who's fought the uh, two cis women where she cracked their skull. Well, mm -hmm. I don't and, think that's and I'm fair. Like, wow. yeah, I agree that that is not fair. And so, what I think should happen is they should have their own league. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was saying. I think they, they should, should have, have their own yeah. league. Yeah. I think there should be a league for transgender people, mm -hmm. and I think there should be a league for cis people. And I get people will say, well, that's separation or that's segregation. Well, it's fair. Yeah. It's not yeah. fair. Yeah. It's not fair to have. Biological women compete with some uh, transgender woman who's built way better than her. Built for tough. Built because and, she and then they don't even have to be hormones. big, right? They don't even and have I to get, be big. And I get there are some. Yeah, yes, uh, I get that there are some uh, uh, transgender women that are very petite and very small and not as big. I get that, but it's still. I get the young girl's point. It's mm, not fair to I, her. Yeah. It's not fair to her. And and and. I have love for all people, but I think it would be fair for them to have their own league. That's yeah. just my personal opinion. And, and that's exactly what I said. I feel like they should. Yeah. I don't, I don't think it's that. fair. And who cares if there's women competing in a man's sport? Obviously, and it's been said a thousand times, men are considered to be stronger than women. So why would you have men compete with women? It's different. Them some wussy men. And they'll take the trans men saying, oh, but you're, playing, you're calling us men. We are not men. We're women. That is where the disconnect but, is. But, they, totally but, but they don't want you to say men. I'm biologically you know mad. Even though you're still telling the truth, this is where but they it's, turn it. It's discrimination. And you're but calling you know, me a man. Not really, really, but not really. Because <laughs> for the simple fact. Remember that guy? It's man. It's man. It's like that. If I made you a man God made you a woman, you a woman. Now you have, and I, I love the trans community. I don't say anything wrong, but facts is facts. You can't, I mean, you can have surgeries, you can take hormones, you can do, you know, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, whatever. But biologically, you were born a man. Same thing with the women. If you decide to be a man, you were born. That's a why woman. you see stories of the first pregnant man. Well, you, you're only able to get pregnant. Yeah, like, like, oh, how is it to a man later yeah, on? Yeah, you know? so technically, you, you're a woman having a baby, but because you identify as a man and you transition. Well, that's the problem. But the if world you, today, you wouldn't have been able to have that baby if you didn't still you have to feel no parts. this way? Yeah. Want you to say it this way? What's sorry? I like to speak the truth. I agree. All right. Uh, next we have. Paris Morgan, mm. he's like so irritating. Um, yeah, he is. So uh, Meghan Markle did an interview with Oprah, and well, I guess even before that, he was kind of yeah, attacking he had a, her. He had something to say about her every day, uh -huh. every day. Because um, they were friends, and when she started dating, they wasn't. Even they wasn't even technically friends. What it was was Paris Morgan watched the show Suits. 
and Meghan Markle was on the show. He contacted everybody, all of the um, people on the show, and they all responded back to him, not just Meghan. They hung out one time. He hung out with all of the people from the show. They hung out one time and had a drink. She literally just uh, had a moment with him, a friendly moment with him, because she appreciated that he was a fan of the show. That's it. She met Harry the night that she hung out with him. And it's like he, he was like, and then she never responded to any of my emails or calls. And it's like he took that to heart. He said he, he did feel bad afterwards. And then since then, everything she did, he nitpicked at everything. She, he bullied so this girl for her. years. He's been bullying this girl for years. And then what pisses me off is then when he finally gets caught out on it, he talking about some he don't believe a word she says, that she's a big old liar because she's speaking what she experienced. And the moment somebody calls you out, you go running like a little bitch. Yeah. And, and then oh, have the nerve that you, you, ran. you yeah. ran like a little well, bitch. Have the nerve to tell her <laughs> she couldn't feel some type of way after years of bullying. What I don't like is how people try to tell everybody else how, how, how to, to feel. feel. Yeah. I can tell you this: a white person cannot feel racist as a black person. First of all, that's impossible. Like stop so telling, stop what telling is, us how we should feel. Racist. If I feel like they doing something racist to me, they doing something racist to me. Don't try to tell me nothing different. And I don't like the fact that what's her name? I used to like her. Oh, Sharon. Yeah, we were gonna. Uh, yeah, we're. She's well, you go ahead with what you're saying. You go ahead. Mom. You go ahead. Cause Sharon. I get on her. No, mom. You, you sure you, you got a lot? You got a lot to say it right now. Go let it out, mom. Let it out. Let it out. Because I got a lot to say about Sharon too. White. Go ahead. Sharon Osborne on the top. I went off on Cheryl Underwood. And I don't appreciate it. I used to like her, but she should not be yelling at her because when she's, she's one of them people that can't tell her how to feel or tell her how to think or how we should be reacting to something. Mm -hmm. We react the way we want to. If anybody's an idiot, it's you and your husband. He bit off Bat's head <laughs> and nobody said a word. But I would just funny. say this. Yeah, they thought it was funny and cute. Mm -hmm. If one of us would have got up there and bit off a Bat's head, they'd have put us in jail for animal cruelty. Chinese did, and they started COVID. Or was it Ozzy? Uh, but, <laughs> okay. uh, but anyways, was. what Sharon said, this is what made me mad at Sharon. She was defending Pierce Morgan because Pierce is her friend. And uh, Yes, good, good. Mom. <laughs> but Pierce was her friend, and she was defending him on their show to talk with the co-host Cheryl Underwood. She was yelling and screaming at, and, and crying, had mm -hmm. tissue in her hand, like, oh, woe is me. Tell my people are going to think I'm racist because. Cheryl, before Cheryl could say any fucking thing, she says, and don't you dare cry. You if know anybody what? should be crying, it should be me. Yeah, and she that. That a a lot of white women do that so much to black women. This is the micro of wishes that we be talking about. But you she know literally what? used her tears and told another woman, don't you dare cry. But a you black woman, what? don't you dare cry. I'd have got up and slapped her and gave her a reason And if Cheryl would have acted a fool and really snapped they on her, like her. If, if Common View Cheryl would have <laughs> went off on her, they would have been calling her the angry black woman. They would have been calling her, uh, uh, she's ghetto, she's this and she's well, that. I'm proud to be ghetto and I'm proud to be the angry but black woman. But really showed her ass. She did. She showed I, her ass. And, 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 and Holly Robinson, Pete, Pete, uh, Pete called her up because Holly used to be on the show. She said oh. that Sharon got her fired, said she was too ghetto oh for my. the show. Holly Robinson, Pete, one of the most clean cut oh actors. <laughs> she's so clean cut. She's <laughs> girls never, has never done anything problematic in Hollywood ever. And you call her ghetto? But that is racist that. as fuck. It is. But I'm going to tell you something which is the honest to God truth. Sharon, now that's ghetto. Mm -hmm. She's ghetto. Why she's the trying to call she somebody else better than yes. Why she trying to call somebody else ghetto? She is. Because the only reason why I watched her and her family. Because they were funny. They were funny because they were ghetto. Yeah, I agree. Uh, hey, Leland, he's. No, he's so but but you know Sharon know. And, and what proof she's like everybody's gonna think I'm racist. You know what Kelly right. Osborne did when she was on the View when uh, she said if Trump sends all the Mexicans back, who's gonna clean up his properties? 
Oh, that's that is racist. Yes. You, know, you wonder you, that, and she said, "Educate me." She kept telling Cheryl, "Educate me. I'm educating you now." What your daughter said was problematic, and what you said was problematic. That was microaggression, racist. What y'all, both of y'all did. And, and you, you can't tell. And then, I'm 68 years old. How can I be racist? You just oh, you proved racist. that you can't. You just you proved that you can't. And you racist. It don't matter how old you is. I'm racist. You racist. And then for you to be 68 years old, you should know I'm the younger one. You should be educating us. You should yeah. be educating Cheryl. We shouldn't have to educate you on racism. You were around when it was at its worst. And, and she knows what right, white privilege is because they let she they, exhibited they, it. They, yeah, they let she their ass get on TV throwing hands at neighbors. Let us do some stuff like that. We be with right there. If that is not. If y'all can't see she, the white privilege in that, you just respect, choose to remain ignorant. If you didn't. See and, that, and a white woman crying and yelling in a black woman's face and telling her she better not cry. That that lit me on fire when Sharon did that. And that was and I would commend uh, Cheryl Underwood because she was so calm and and so like she's like I consider you my friend and I'm trying to explain this to you. Mm -hmm. And she talked with a very low voice. She didn't get loud. Not once. It was Sharon yelling and screaming and crying while yelling at her. You bet not cry because I should be the but you know what? I'd have gave her a reason to cry. I'd have got I'm not girl, gonna Somebody said if Amanda Seals should have been on that show. Because yeah. if Amanda Seals was on that, she would have checked the hell out of Sharon. But that's how that's how it be. Not even with the whole um race, black and white. People do that in daily in general. In general. Yeah. yeah, like I could feel I feel some type of so you need to feel the same way I feel. Yep. If you don't, then you're wrong. Yep. Right, and that's, that's true. just as pure ignorance to mm -hmm. me. You can't dictate how someone should feel. Yeah, um, I, I do not understand that concept. I swear, I do not get it. If my mom tell me she's sad about something, I may not think that she should be sad about. I'll have no right to tell her you don't need to be sad about. Like what my like experience it, with her doctor. I'm in pain. It's not that bad. Hey, don't yeah, tell me how to feel. But you know exactly. what? I bet you they don't tell me that no more. Cause you know what? <laughs> I have turned into Jay. I was going in there nice because nice. I thought she they was. were trying to help me. But, but when I realized oh, that they thought I could accept pain better than white people. Yes, that's what made me upset. And I she just started, started asking. Asking. Are you did she started are you one of them doctors <laughs> that believe that black people can take more pain than white yeah. people? I should are you one of them doctors? doesn't mean we don't feel pain. That's right. We're still, we, we have the same we feel thickness pain. of skin as every other race of people. Cry about it. Just I because it. more melanin That's does not. Right. I'm still crazy. I sometimes have to be in a wheelchair, but I'll jump out of that wheelchair and try to knock the shit out of you. So <laughs> God, God, hit you don't, don't mind <laughs> me. Don't bother me. Just let me be. I'm an angry person. I've been through a lot, you know. Maybe if I live long enough, my mind will change. But right now, it's just too much going on in the world that I see that mm -hmm. I don't like. Right. I literally feel like that, too. I feel like, although I'm only 33, I'm slowly they are my ears. exhibiting your characters. Oh, characters. she's definitely turning to you. And even I sometimes get like, I the way I went off at Walmart, I was like, that's the jam I coming am. out. Because you I went off at Walmart. You do be <laughs> sometimes you just get so, you had enough. Your buttons get pushed. You Girl, yeah. and eventually so you, you can't take it anymore, and mm -hmm. you snap. Yeah, you eventually, you so you, and I'm not saying like you'll snap and do something horrible, but you, will, the power of the tongue is amazing. Mm -hmm. You will snap and say some things that will hurt people. <laughs> and you know what? I, and I was talking. I keep. I told you. I think like the past two days. I think I'm. Okay, just like you do me wrong. I'll let you think you do me wrong, but I'll get you back with my actions. Way. Yeah. And I won't have to say I wish anything. I could be like her. I, I to wish I could be like that too. I need people to get got right now. I won't, I won't say anything. I just my actions will show you like, bam. She really bam, just she, did that. Yeah, huh? yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, and it, I mean, whether it's friendship, relationships, or work related, that's. And I don't know why I do it. It's just. That's a good way of doing it. Cause yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm I mean, like, you I'm know what? Way. She's not gonna do. I, I, I'll, 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 I'll,
I'll say something, you know where I'm about to go off, you yeah. know? It's terrible the way I go off, but I just been through so much. But it does take a lot for it me is. to go off. It takes a lot but for it, me to go off. It doesn't off. take anything for me. Mom, mom can't wait for you to do the wrong yeah, thing. I, right. like, I want you to say the I wrong thing. I want you to say something. <laughs> I'm not the baddest person, but I will give you a tongue lash. She will. She definitely will. Let's talk about Eminem. That oh, yeah. I want to talk we'll about. We'll talk about Eminem, but I, I, I did want to say too, um, I feel like when I start really respecting my elder, my elders, my uh, the adults in my life, was I have I made one mistake as a kid, and I called one of my aunties like fat, I think. Oh yeah, I ain't gonna say her name. But my mom gave me the business, and that from that moment on, I was like, shit. I don't remember. I, I had to wait until the show was over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I would have gave you the business. You did, and I didn't mean it like. She was so sweet. Like, and I, she's one of the and I was really young, you know, and I just, I don't know why it's about just like, you're, you know, you're fat. You know, just. Little kids do that. I can't tell you yeah, how many times little yeah. kids call me fat. And but that's not, not, not trying to that's be. That's right, exactly. Set them straight right there, and, and I just, then you won't have that problem. And I think yeah. me just being the kid, that's just my observation. And I used to ask a lot of questions. Yeah. I used to talk a whole bunch, and then my mom gave me a piss. I was like, oh, damn. If I if I feel some way or think it's some way I shouldn't say it, it's gonna be real or mm -hmm. Exactly. But uh, moving, <laughs> moving along to Eminem, I didn't write that part down. But yeah, Eminem. So he's being canceled. Well, the Gen him. Z, the Gen Z generation. That's the newer generation. That's under millennials like us. Uh, they wanted to cancel Eminem. They had this like TikTok thing where they were like cancel Eminem over. The lyrics in The Way You Lie song where he says, oh, yeah. uh, if you try to leave, I'm going to tie you to the bed and set the house on fire. This is the lyric that they wanted to cancel Eminem over. I was like, you snowflake ass little kids. Snowflake like, y'all don't know. If, if that made y'all mad, don't listen to Ma Marshall Mathers LP. If that made you mad, don't listen to none of his beginning work. Look, because I and we will not have it, by the way. You are yes. not canceling Eminem. I like him. Eminem, but is, that's his gimmick, and that's what he does. He talks mad shit. He says the most vulgar things. That's Eminem. If you got a problem with rapper it, change it. it. Yeah. That's that's rapper, I was going to say, I watched the interview with Ice Cube in 1993, and everybody should watch it. I see everybody. I'm telling you, I always liked him, but when he talked to her, Cause I don't even know her name, but I'm sure she was yeah, black. She, yeah, she was popular back then. Mm -hmm. She was a popular... Uh, but she was trying show. to get on him about the way they curse. And Call like, girls bitches. bitches and, and stuff and like that. Oh, he's like, what was that? Boys in the head? Yeah. Oh, yeah, but, he, but just like he said, when they say things, you that's not that they deal with. And they see what if you know, don't, if bitch, don't, don't, don't react, don't react, to, react it. to it. Yeah. That's right. I, I tell you, and then just because people say things in their music doesn't mean they're that way. And they're not supposed to raise y'all kids. Y'all supposed to raise your kids. But then Eminem say something about ripping his mom. Yes, look, Eminem has said Eminem way said worse, said way worse stuff than way in That's what I'm saying. He, he talked about raping his mother. Now that's the start. He talked about raping his mother. He talked about murder. He, 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 talked about he, he, talked about he talked about murder. He actually murders his wife in a song called Kim. Like, it, like it, 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 it's just words. It is words. Now they don't go to it and they go, really? No, but y'all not about to cancel Eminem over there. Y'all not. With the, us millennials will not have it. Because we know Eminem. Eminem, this is his gimmick. And this is how he got popular, as a matter of fact. And if you're going to cancel Eminem over shit like that, you, that means you might as well not watch horror movies. You might, might as well not play video games. Mm -hmm. Eminem is in that category. He's mature audiences only. Mm -hmm. And if you can't have the way he says, don't listen to his music, period. That's are not everybody. Him. Yeah, that's what everybody. It, like, yeah. people go after Cardi B. People go after Meg. People go after everybody that they don't like their stuff. Don't watch it. There's something That's out right. there for everybody. If you don't like Megan Stallion, listen mm -hmm. to Rhapsody. If you don't like Eminem, fucking listen to uh, listen to Toby. Like you don't have Toby to. Is shit. Toby doesn't he curse in his lyrics. He doesn't talk about vulgar stuff. If you're looking for wholesome music, listen to Toby. If you want that dirty raw stuff, listen to Eminem. Eminem, you, you know how that. the world works. You have the people over here 
Yeah, be this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. Way. It's, it's, it's going to always be an issue. No matter it, it what. It needs to be. There's something out be there for everybody. If it's not your taste, don't listen to it. So it's all in my way. Issue. God oh. didn't put me here. He didn't tell me what to do. Ain't nobody else going to tell me. I'm going to be Jay. Forever, Jay. Everybody want to be a dictator. Yeah. 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 Everybody want to be. It's, it's ridiculous. Think too. like me. I'm perfect. Exactly. Exactly. Ain't nobody. Ain't perfect. nobody perfect. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm no, I'm nobody's perfect. perfect. I'm far from it. All right. So, any final words? Was that it? That's it. Yeah. Else? All right. You got another topic. No, did we, uh, was there something else I wanted to touch on? I feel like we're missing something. Tur Nisi touching up on everything. Well, everything no, that yeah, I wanted to talk about for you, like we gotta keep it like that. Let me, uh, see. I wanted to talk about stuff that's, like, happened through throughout page. the week. Let go through our page. We talked about pretty much everything. everything. We did. Okay. Then we should. We touched on and I want to say thank you to those who watched our last show. And our followers. Yes, really and our nice. followers. Um, yeah, we only had 220, but that's a lot to us. Yeah. And our last show got like 908 views. Wow. And that is surprising. And we appreciate it, especially from Facebook. We, Instagram is something different. Next Friday, we're going to talk about they better lay off a of candy. <laughs> candy. What happened? Okay, what Everybody trying to say stuff about candy because they saying that she using, you know, the housewives to promote her stuff. The housewives well, she's are starting to get boring. What, you mean her, like, her businesses? Her, well, her what, did she so, use her platform to promote her businesses? Mm -hmm. Like, why mm -hmm. wouldn't she? People are, are but then people, people are People on the show, like, Candy, can you do a throw a party for me? Can you, can you do this? Why wouldn't she promote her brand? Yeah. She, uh, that's what she does. Like, I think Candy does I'm a very smart business. Yeah. 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 Like yeah. People should take advice from And got and herself to the it. top on her own. But people hate that. People hate That's to true. see other people That's succeed. That's crazy that people mad at her. People hate matter. to see other people succeed. And a lot of what people. What would they be I watching? Why is that they weren't going to involve her? But you know, a lot of people, people watch stuff to hate. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But a lot of people quit watching, which I mm -hmm. should have. Yeah, I should have boycotted. But I like candy. I like Nene, and I like. Candy, so I watch it for candy, you know, even though I wish Nene. I like candy, I like Portia. I like, I like Portia too. too. I like Juice the Door too. Oh, Juice I the like Door, her. you know what? People are saying she needs to get off the show. I actually like, I like her. her. Yeah. I, I, think I, I like her on the show. I, I really like her do. on the show. She should stay. Yeah. I think she's They funny. want to get rid of anybody, get rid of Ken, Ken. Kenya. But Ken, Kenya is entertaining. Because she brings Cause she's the, drama. the villain. Because she brings the she's drama. the villain of the show. Now, like they, how Nene used to be. I, I was about to say, now they, they didn't got rid of Nene. They get rid of Ken, uh, Kenya. They so lose a lot more viewers. viewers yeah, probably. I don't, uh, People like to I'll see her try to throw shade at everybody else while her life is crumbling. Yeah, that's, that's that's crum crum nobody up. wants to see success. They like to see drama. Nobody yes. wants a wholesome yes. show. They yes. want to see mess. Exactly. No matter how much you say, oh, that's good, but then you and then they'll talk about it later. You see how terrible it is? I didn't I was like, oh, this best for rap party. It's all this. It's terrible. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I had one eye closed. I enjoyed that episode. I thought that episode was entertaining. The girls dressing up as hoochie mamas, closing all the cameras and acting a damn fool. I thought that was cool for older women to be able to just have fun like that. Well, they weren't behaving like aunties. The aunties had to leave. <laughs> but they, I enjoyed it. Turkey was all, no, oh my God, this is too much. They put this on Kathleen. I think it would have been <laughs> private and not only. Well, so they tried to cover up the cameras. You got to see little tidbits, but you know they tried to cover up the cameras. You know they're gonna talk about it later. I get that and all of that, but still, you know it was. There's nothing wrong with them being grown, doing what the hell they want to do. Yeah, nothing's wrong with that. All right, well, any, people gonna judge you regardless. Any final words? That's it. Live your life, and Eminem uh -huh. is not going nowhere. I want to say be you. Just be you. 
I want to say happy birthday to my mom. Her birthday is March 16th, Aww. which is Tuesday. And Thank happy you. birthday to Turquoise. Her birthday was the 7th. Yes. But my fabulous mother, gorgeous. Oh, she's just so sweet. <laughs> Very They have a great relationship. Happy birthday, mom. So do you two. Thank you. We're like Cartman and his mom. I'm going to say it. I think I said it. Maybe I said it. Do you know? No, no, last show. What? But y'all have a good relationship. My mom was in pain. I'm closer. No, listen. And I would have heard her. She called for God first, and then she said, She never called for me. <laughs> you wouldn't have heard me. You would have heard her. And I will admit, I did come and run it. Me and Ben was with me, but We did too. Me and Elijah did too. Yeah, they, everybody came. We all went running because so, we heard her scream. So last night, last night, act like y'all don't have a good relationship. Y'all may argue, but I, I, I said, We're like the Carmen and his mom. They have a great relationship. And then when they get mad at each other, they really get mad at each other. And then they go back to having a great relationship. Mama said, I'm good for like, yee, 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 bitch, right now. You wouldn't have heard me way back. Mama, I think she just called me because I was close. I mean, I was going to so call cool. everybody. I, I just was trying to tell like, I'm going to call Lisa. She, she's responsible. But Lisa's not. Yeah. And she's been touching in Turkey and the one with the call. No. So that's that's what she, what she, thinks. she thinks you're very she said, responsible. You the girl with the idea, and I'm the girl with the car. No, you have the ideas and the car. Stop. <laughs> Great night.